welcome to G5 Social Taste Kitchen, where we taste the web. We are so excited today. Number one, y'all, we are in our new kitchen. What y'all think? It's beautiful. We are so excited. And then the other thing is, is that we have Chef Dina with us here today. Yeah. Everybody say hi to Chef Dina. Hi. And then we have our good friend Shauna C here with us today. Hey. Everybody say hi, Shauna C. Hey. So today we're going to take time with Chef Dina and we're going to do some cooking in our new kitchen. Y'all excited? I'm excited. Okay. Okay. So we are making jambalaya. Oh. Jambalaya balls. Have y'all ever heard of jambalaya balls? I haven't, but you know what? I'm excited. It's going to taste good. So let's get started. Okay, so today I've already told you all, and I'm sure you saw all the news that we put on our website, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram about Chef Dina. So Chef Dina is our friend who we love dearly. And let me just tell you a little bit about my girl. My girl is tough. I got started in 96. Okay. Cooking for my cousin's wedding. Okay. And it was just, that's when I knew, because I didn't sleep. But I, I knew I had a passion for it because I didn't need to sleep. I just yeah. loved Y'all, she was on the chew. I'm yeah. talking about the chew. And she won the chew. Woo! Yeah. So we have a celebrity as our friend in our kitchen. So we are excited. Tell me what you want me to do, because I'm ready to do these jumbo light balls. <laughs> Is we got jambalaya. We took we uh, basically we had jambalaya for dinner, and we're gonna take it from dinner to remix for the dinner party tonight. Right. Let's do that. Remix it. So what we're gonna do? Get your your um. What we did was basically when you make jambalaya from the box right here, you wanna add your little meats and stuff to it. So you know you wanna add about. Maybe four to five ounces of each meat. I did a little bit of. She she's showing you a little bit, but this is turkey sausage. This is some chicken breast from the rotisserie. So you can shortcut it, so you don't have to go and make everything from scratch if you want to. Okay. And then some shrimp. Okay. And so you, I, I grabbed about a handful of shrimp and then chop them. Okay. And chop the chicken. Chop the um the turkey sausage. And then what I did was I cooked this by box okay. as instructed. Then I add, because I don't want to dry this out, definitely don't want to dry the shrimp out. Okay. This can cook, I usually like to pan fry that with a few more uh, red peppers and mm. green peppers and stuff. You don't have to do all that. Mm. Mm. You don't have to do all that. But I like it for taste. Okay. So saute that, make that get nice and golden brown, and then add all the meat to it. Okay. Now where did you find this recipe at? Well, I'm a caterer too, so okay. I um I had some, a client come and said their favorite meal is jambalaya. Okay. But they having a dinner party oh. and they wanted appetizers. Okay. So I said, hmm, how can we do that? Mm -hmm. Jambalaya balls. Okay. Put them together. Okay. She's gonna, Shana C is gonna grab some after you finish doing all is that. Is this good? That's perfect. Okay. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, you don't put that in raw. You want after, same pan, because mm -hmm. it's all going to the same place. Mm -hmm. After you brown these um, turkey sausage, then you want to um, saute this just for like two to three minutes. Okay. So it's going to continue to cook inside the rice. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Are you and Shauna see about to do that one? Yes, we about to do that. Okay. You ready to do that? I'm ready. Come on over. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. So I'll put this in here. This is what you need to get. Now listen to Chef Dean, okay? Oh, no, it's on good. Oh, okay. We got it. Is that it? Oh, good. Okay. So then, 
What we want to do, we got our little cookie scooper. Okay. We got our leftover jambalaya mix. Now, do you have to use turkey sausage or you can use beef? Or you can use beef. Okay, y'all yeah, like chicken, turkey, well, and goat? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And then we got some chicken, we got some shrimp. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> okay. You know, being a chef, you got to right. eat everything. Right, right. You got to take all that. But so, here's something. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven. We're going to wash our hands. You see, our hands are kind of dirty. Yeah. And we will be right back. Okay, see y'all in a minute. So now that we have prepped our number light balls, we are going to preheat our oven. Well, we've already preheated our oven to 425. And the reason we wanted that temperature, we want a high heat because the jambalaya is already cooked. You just want to cook out the egg and you want to brown the breadcrumbs. So you want a high heat for like 15 to 20 minutes or until golden brown. Okay. There is a sauce that goes with the sauce, as my husband from New York would say. So all my New York family members, sauce, sauce, the sauce. <laughs> there is a sauce that comes with the recipe, but, but we are doing a G5 kicker. We're doing a G5 kicker, y'all. Yeah, okay. We don't do Jezebel sauce. Je I miss how it's, it's called. Good. It's called Jezebel sauce. Now y'all yeah. know. Mm -hmm. No just build sauce up in here. No. So G5 kicker all day long. All day, every okay. day. Let's go. I'm ready. Okay. Temperature guy. So first, what we decided to do was go with our holla at your girls. Hey mango, mango, mango. party in a job. job. We love y'all. Yes. So we replaced that with the apple jelly. That okay. Kind of sauce. Okay. So get a good bit of it. And if you are not familiar with Mango, Mango, I need you to go check them out on Facebook, Please Instagram, do. Twitter. The women are phenomenal and their product is delicious. And if they say it's a party in a jar, it's not a game. It's, it's not, not a game. It's really you heard it. It's not a game. It's really a party in a jar. Really? You can make so many different things. Yes. Love them. I some old. 
Yes. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> okay, I'm just eyeballing it basically. How much you want is how much you put in. Okay. Um, then we're going to add some brown spicy mustard. Mm -hmm. So let's get about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half of that to go in. Then we want to kick why you got to kick it. Okay. A little bit of honey. Just for some more sweetness. And say. Mm. And to balance all that sweet, we're going to add a little white vinegar. About two tablespoons. That's the bottom. Already. Yeah. Sweet and sour. This is how you make your classic sweet and sour. It's just sugar and vinegar. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mix that all together. Mm -hmm. It smells good too. That vinegar is. See, and you like a little bit more spice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what? Go, go. Oh, is that Tony's? Tony is. Yes. Yeah. Tony. I don't have to say it. Tony's. <laughs> we love okay. you, Tony. Just a little bit of that. Take my pinky. Mm hmm. Just put it on there like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It got a little kick. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is how the chefs do. This is how the chefs do, y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're doing that. This is good. This oh, y'all just good. waiting. <laughs> so the balls are in the oven. We're just waiting for them to come out. So in a few Ooh. minutes, y'all, we're going to have some good old cider. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a plate. And we just to get down on these jambalaya balls. See y'all in a few? Yes. Can't wait. Okay, so I like the recipe. What you think? I like it. Okay. I, ooh, I can smell them. Y'all, they smell so good. I can't wait. We got our little Martinelli's grape juice going on. That's going to be good. And our sauce. Yeah. Are you ready? Okay. okay. Mm. They smell good. Smell they look good. good. I can't wait to taste it. So this is the final product of yes. the Jambalaya Balls. And we have our wonderful... G5 kick of sauce, y'all know. We cannot wait to taste this. So let's go ahead and dig in and get a couple of balls here. So I'm gonna go right here. So y'all know we're gonna tell y'all the truth. Let y'all know how to taste. <laughs> Look at me, I'm gonna Let me go Okay. Oh, what y'all think? It look good. Oh, she got the Okay. Oh, did you already? Okay. Well, I'm gonna be the one that picks up the whole. Okay. Before I take the bite, we wanna say thank you all for tuning in today. They already eat what is it? We wanna thank you all for tuning in today. How y'all like it? Thank y'all for tuning in because I gotta hurry and say this. Thank y'all for tuning in. You know that we will have a link or the website address where you can go check out the show. We're so happy that you came today to hang out with us in our kitchen. And remember to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Don't forget our website and then we're gonna have all the information about Chef Luna Day. Y'all look out for my girl because she's about to blow. Up, okay, yes. so remember that you can <laughs> always talk to us, and you know what? We always love to do what? Taste the well. Bye, y'all.